Well, ladies and gentlemen, a new screen capture app for Mac has stepped into the foray, and now it's called Camtasia Studio. That's right, Camtasia for Mac. And the question is, how good is it, and how does it compare to the ultimate Mac screen capture software, ScreenFlow? And in a short answer, it does, and it don't. Some things it excels at better than ScreenFlow, and in some things, ScreenFlow just really leaves it in the dust. So it really depends on what type of capture you're going to be um, using are doing if you're going to be doing a straight tutorial um, where you're just showing somebody a problem or showing somebody how to do something then Camtasia will, will probably be the best bet because of all the effects and stuff it has but if you're going to be recording your screen that has going to have a lot of fast movement you're going to want screen flow um, if you're going to be having a lot of audio over a microphone and you're going to be rendering and doing a lot of intensive CPU in the background you'll want Camtasia because it has smoother audio than, than, screen, than um, ScreenFlow. But ScreenFlow is a lot smoother when it comes to editing and scrubbing. So let me just demonstrate these things. Okay. So here is the Camtasia interface for Mac. As you can see, we have our recording bin over here. We have our timeline just like in, the, in ScreenFlow. Okay, we have our little eyesight camera here. Just like in ScreenFlow, we can record that separate. You know, what does give you the good little option is if you right click on your um, eyesight inside of Camtasia, it'll give you the option to separate video and audio, and it will pull the audio out of your video, and you can keep the audio and delete the video, whatever. But as you can see, we have these tabs down here, and this is our media library. And there's our effects and our audio effects, which is audio fade in, custom audio action, which we can get into that if you're all interested, but most of this is covered on the Camtasia website if you're interested in buying it. Lower volume, raise volume, most of this works just like in ScreenFlow, as you can see, you can put it in there. It works a little different. Um, you can see the red line here. You have to have your playhead parked over the red line to adjust it, and that's how long the effect's going to last. It's going to stay that way to the end, and you, you can go over the screen casting tutorials on the Camtasia website if you really want to get in depth on how to use this but if you're familiar with ScreenFlow I don't think you'll have a problem getting oriented inside Camtasia okay now there's some really good effects which really makes Camtasia sh shine there's the fade out the fly in if you you can put your mouse over it and you can get a preview rotate in these are transitions now if you split your clip you can add a transition um, if you say edit split selected at playhead now that's going to split that clip there now I can take a transition and put it there and put it here and now my little eyesight camera there if you can see it is transitioning in as you can see let's bring this down here you see so that's how the transition works really simple really simple stuff okay but it's great because you have these transitions of slide in, slide out, zoom in, zoom out. Now also, you can adjust your color. You can have color adjustments. Open this little button here, opens up your properties, and over here you can adjust all this stuff. And you can also colorize your clip, which is really cool. You can, you can change the color of your clip to whatever you want it to be. Um, let's put it on the original one here. This one here. Now see that colorizes my clip. And I can change the color. And this colorizes is a really good function for the other things that are available, and we'll get to those. So not only can you colorize stuff, you can add a drop shadow, a glow, a reflection, a window spotlight, um, which will focus in on the window that's highlighted. The custom video action is what I always use, and that just lets you create custom actions like zoom in and zoom out. Uh, and if, if I create a zoom in, I'm going to use the custom video action. Then we have the flip horizontally, flip vertically. Smart Focus is really, really cool, and they can explain that on their website. It focuses in on areas of the screen that you're concentrated on, but it does it smartly, and it does it for you. Um, and this is kind of a more specific Smart Focus at a certain time. Um, we have went over the transitions, we have went over the filters, and we have went over the, the cool actions. Now, there's also some... Um, effects here if you go to your media tab and click library you can see we have an arrow I can drag and drop on there or speech bubbles and stuff and this is where the colorize function and stuff really comes into play because you can colorize your arrow you see so we got all these cool and the export quality is really good um, 
If you right click and say adjust canvas, this down here will set it to where you want it to export as YouTube HD 1280 by 720. Okay, you can fit to visible, which you know, and you can fool with all this stuff. It works basically like ScreenFlow does. We have a share menu. You can upload straight to YouTube. And I've noticed the export quality. If I go to share, advanced export, I get the exact same. I can go down here and say to QuickTime Movie, hit options, and I get the exact same box and settings that ScreenFlow gives me. So you can export exactly as ScreenFlow, and they look about the same. I have noticed that when you, we use Camtasia, that the CPU is used a lot more than in ScreenFlow. The more movement that's going on on the screen, it seems like the more c CPU that Camtasia uses. Okay, now the thing about this is, the advantage of Camtasia is, is if I play this, you can hear how smooth my audio is. And what I was doing was I was scrubbing the timeline while I was recording my video. Okay, if you notice, I'm scrubbing the timeline here and I'm saying test, test, test. Test, 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 test. And it's not distorting my audio at all. Very great, very smooth. The same way when I'm encoding with compressor while I'm recording audio with Camtasia. Very smooth audio. Okay, but if I go to ScreenFlow here, and let me play this back while scrubbing the timeline, you'll hear there's kind of some gotchas, some gitch and gotchas in there. Listen. Test, 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 test. Hi, my name is Eric Meek, and I am here. You see the little stutters? So Camtasia handles audio under intensive tasks a lot better than ScreenFlow does. Now, let's get to what ScreenFlow does better than Camtasia. Now, I want you to watch how I scrub the timeline here. Look how, look at that, how smooth and fast. See that? Wham, 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 back and forth, as fast as I can do it. And it just takes right along with me. If I try to do that in Camtasia, watch the timeline here. See how it just lags behind? It is not nearly as smooth, okay? And another thing I've noticed, um, let's load in, let's go to our media tab here. Let me load in some media. Let's delete this. Let's load, load in this media here. Now this is just a video I was screen recording while watching a video on iTunes. So let me play it. Actually, let me move this little thing here out of the way. Now if you look real close, you see how choppy that is? Now this is at full 30 frames a second. I can't make it do any better. I've tried. Okay. Okay, now let me go to ScreenFlow where I've captured something from iTunes. Now here's a movie that I've captured from iTunes. I want you to watch the playback on this movie inside of ScreenFlow. If you notice, there's hardly no choppiness compared to... I can even move the window around and stuff. There's hardly no choppiness compared to Camtasia. Okay, so when it comes to recording like a web movie, if you're wanting to screen capture a three minute web movie that you've seen on somebody's web page, or you're wanting to record a music video off YouTube by screen capturing your, your, your screen, there is no other choice except ScreenFlow. It does, it does movies and fast paced movement much better, and it uses much less CPU. Okay, on the other hand, if you're going to be doing a tutorial where you're going to be rendering and doing a lot of timeline scrubbing, you might want to stick with Camtasia because it handles the audio better, whereas ScreenFlow can kind of mess up your audio. So it's kind of a give and take. Camtasia is excellent because it has all kinds of good effects. It has a wonderfully polished UI, and it's got some really great things going for it. And I'm going to start using it for my desktop tutorials to see how it goes. I'm always going to use ScreenFlow for recording movies off of web pages or, you know, a music video or something like that, I'll always use ScreenFlow. But if I'm going to be doing some heavy rendering in the background while recording my screen, I'm going to be using Camtasia because it handles the audio better. All in all, if I had to choose just one, I would pick ScreenFlow. I love the smoothness of the scrubbing. I love how it captures you know, fast movement on the screen a lot better than Camtasia. It does have a problem with audio sometimes. But other than that, I think it's really great. But on Cam for Camtasia's side, the wonderful effects, the wonderful UI, the wonderful little tidbits of separating your audio from your video and stuff like that is really wonderful. And if Camtasia could step up their uh, video screen recording quality to capture it more smoothly and to use just a little bit less CPU, then I would go to Camtasia completely. 
But as for now, where ScreenFlow hardly uses any CPU and captures the faster movement smoother, I stick with it most of the time. But remember, when it comes to heavy CPU using while you're screen recording, you might want to go with Camtasia. So from now on, when I'm recording my screen and rendering big time in the background, I'll probably be using Camtasia. If I'm not doing any heavy rendering in the background while recording my screen, I'll probably be using ScreenFlow. So it's really up to you. Um, there's a new foray into the field now. You can't, nothing wrong with competition. It just makes everybody work harder. Now ScreenFlow's got to stay on their toes and do things a little bit better, to, you know, so people won't be switching. And, you know, I Show You is a pretty stable thing, pretty solid. It handles everything pretty well. But there's a brief overview of Camtasia. If you want some more info, some more tutorials, I'd be more than happy to help you. But I think Camtasia's website covers everything that you probably could ask me and that I could cover. Um, like I said, if Camtasia would just get a little bit smoother, it would have my top spots.